Hey guys, hey, what's going on? Hey, this is Wesley, uh, multi-million dollar virgin here. And I wanted to, I wanted to um, get on here real quickly here. I'm in Orange, Texas, hanging out with the kiddos here today. And I thought about something. I thought about the phrase, the law of reciprocity, okay? Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, and I want to spend about five minutes with you and I wanted to explain that. Um, I posted a picture and I do it all the time, you know, I show receipts and, you know, I show people how I tip and not to brag and I'd say, oh, yes, you know, Wesley can tip 100 percent, 300 percent. No, I really do it because I want to show you how I'm winning in life. And it's very important to show you each step of the process. Does that make sense? You know, some people, they'll show you say, well, you need to invest in the right stocks or you need to invest in the right business. But if you don't see a person that's a millionaire, you don't see their daily habits, um, it's very hard to grasp or it's very hard to actually become successful because you're not seeing what this person is doing on a daily basis, right? But I want to talk about the law of reciprocity and how it can affect your life in a powerful way. Um, years ago, and this was a while back. I remember when I didn't have much money, okay? And I remember going out to dinner. And I remember tipping 10%, okay? And I remember saying, well, you know, I'm just going to tip 10% because that's the minimum. And, you know, and I already, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be very honest right now. You know, I just, I was like, you know, why do I need to tip so much? Or, you know, is it really important to tip a lot of money? And, you know, what's the big deal with this, right? So I had a very non careless attitude towards tipping waiters and waitresses, okay? Um, and the thing is, I've never been in the service industry, but I have a high respect for them now. Because one day... I went out to eat, this was maybe seven, eight years ago, and I went to a restaurant, and this person was waiting on me, and, you know, giving me my food, taking my order, nice person, and I asked this person one question, I said, hey, is this what you really want to do, you know, what's your dream? I asked them, and they said, well, I mean, it was a, it was a young lady. She said, well, I'm just doing this because I have to right now, but I'm a nursing student. Um, you know, I have two children and I have to, and it was nice. She was working the night shift and she said, I have to work the night shift and I have to work at this time to make some extra cash to ensure that I can pay for school. But yeah, that's my dream. Um, if I didn't have to be here, I wouldn't be waiting tables. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not what I want to do, but I'm going to do what I have to do until I can get what I want. And I remember hearing that story and it changed how I felt about people in the service industry. Because sometimes we look at waiters, waitresses, you know, just people that start wash our cars, doormen, valet people. We look at them and we think that that's their dream, right? That's all they're gonna do in life, right? And sometimes if we're not careful, we'll start to see ourselves as higher than them. But that's incorrect. And from that day on, I mean, I tipped her about 200 bucks, you know, and, you know, I didn't need to see her expression. I just left. And from that day on, I started to do that. Now, I didn't know at the time, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know how this would affect my life in an amazing way today, okay? Because I didn't understand the law of reciprocity. I didn't understand how to give and you should give more than what's expected. I didn't understand that. But that story that that young lady told me and said, you know what, Wesley, I'm doing this, but I have a dream. And that hit me, that hit me, it really did. It hit me to my heart and I said from that day going forward, whether I had money or not, I will sow a seed or I will put, or I will give more than was ever expected to anybody that would give me service, okay? And 
Let's talk about you real quickly. Because, see, I think some of you are in that boat when the most that you give, the most that you give out into the universe is just the bare minimum. But, see, the thing is, that's why you're getting bare minimum results. See, guys, you know, success is a very, it's easy, but it's complex. Right? Not only do you have to do the right thing at the right time, you have to make sure that you're putting more value out into the universe so you can receive that value 10 times over. Write this down, please. If you would like to receive an abundance in your life, make sure that you're giving abundantly in every aspect of life. Because let me share what it does, not, not just to the universe, but see, when you give more to a person, say if you tipped on 50%, say if you get your car valeted, instead of you give them 10 bucks, you give them 20 bucks, you're not only telling the universe that you're prepared to give a poor and more value, you're telling your subconscious mind that you have more than enough. Guys, I used to do this on credit cards. I didn't have any money at that time. I used to, I remember going to get a massage. I used to get massages maybe twice, get massages twice a month. And what I would do, I would take my credit card and I would swipe it. And I would tip that person 100%. Even though I was in debt, I, I had bills. But I think the hardest thing for you, a lot of us, it was hard for me, is even though I'm in debt, even though I didn't make enough money, even though the money wasn't coming in like it is now, I would still give more value to people more than what was ever expected. You know, some people say, well, Wes, you put yourself more in debt. Yeah, I was. But see, but the feeling, key word, write that down. The feeling that I was giving other people, that feeling regurgitated back to me. Does that make sense? Let me say it again. The feeling I was getting, see, the thing is, if you go get a massage and I put in the massage cost 60 bucks and you give this person $60 on a $60 service charge, how do you think they're going to feel? They're going to be like, wow, you, do, you did that for me? This happens to me all the time. You, man, are you sure? Oh, man, you made my day. You know, I hear this several times a week because this is what I do. But the key word is the feeling. See, you're too, sometimes people, we're so concerned with our current reality, which is only perceptual anyway. You know, you're thinking about the bills. Well, I can't tip a lot. I don't got a lot of money. And I ain't got, I ain't got this. I ain't got that. I can't do it, Wesley. I can't do this. But what's important for you to attract abundance in your life is your feeling have to always be in check. And for you... To have a positive reality, you got to feel good. So the thing is, when I tip like this back in the day, you know, I used to give people just more than what they can ever expect. It made me feel good because it made them feel good. And they would express how good it made them feel, which made me feel great. Right? Even though I had loans. <laughs> even though I had a repo. Even though I had a... So what? But at that moment, I felt amazing. And that assisted me, key word, it assisted me through my journey to make millions of dollars. See, some of you say, well, I need to wait until I make the money before I tip like that. Or before I give people money. Or before I donate my time, right? Some of you guys say, well, if I had a million bucks, I'd give $100,000. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Start with a dollar. Start with 10 bucks. See, it's very easy to say, and a lot of you, you have it so backwards. You believe that you have to be a certain way first, right? The money needs to be there first before you do something. See, years ago, when I didn't have much money, I didn't wait to give someone something or to bless someone's life or to give someone from a monetary value to affect their lives. I didn't need to have the money now. What I was telling myself every day by doing that is, Wesley, you already have the money. You're already successful. You already have the abundance. You're already a millionaire. 
So give like one. But most of you, I'm talking to you, you think that you have to wait until you receive it. And let me share something with you. And this is from my heart. You'll never make it. You'll never get it, man. I promise you. You'll never make millions that way. And if you do, you'll lose it. I'm telling you, you you'll never be able to really understand how it feels to have money flow effortlessly in your life. Yeah, you're going to bust your ass every single day. Yeah, you make some money. But you're busting your ass every day, right? And you think that is what's attracting the money in your life. The law of reciprocity is powerful. All it says is the amount of value that you give the universe, that you give people, that you give the world is going to be reflected or going to be boomerang back to you in your life ten times over. It says in the Bible. It said when you give, it shall be given unto you. Simple concept. But it's very hard for people like yourself to actually do it. And to do it genuinely. Me, I don't need to have, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't need to go to a restaurant. And I don't need that waiter to give me the best service. Oh, I'm still here. Alright, let's say it again. I don't need, okay. I don't need a waiter or a waitress to give me great service for me to tip them. Does that make sense? Now, until you get that in your brain, because you feel that someone has to do something very nice or give you the best service. You know, move real fast with your food. Oh, they took five minutes for my food, so I'm not going to tip them anything. Now, I want you to think about how do you feel when you think like that? Do you feel good? Do you feel positive? No. That's bitter. Understand. People that's in the service industry can teach you a lot. They can teach you a lot. And they really can. They can teach you a lot about success as well. People in the service industry, people that have nothing, homeless people, people that you know that even though maybe they're not utilizing their ability to their fullest potential, but by you giving them something which is called hope may put them in a better situation and what that does it helps you feel better and once you start to feel better you're able to attract better write this down i'm gonna let you go i know this video was kind of weird the power is about to go out of here but i might do this video again tomorrow but please get this message here when you start to Give abundantly, you'll start to attract abundantly. That brain of yours needs to be convinced and persuaded that you have more than enough now. Because that brain of yours doesn't know that you have $100 in your bank account. That brain doesn't really know that you're living paycheck to paycheck. You can tell your brain and your mind whatever you want. And your brain and your mind is forced to respond based off how you perceive your reality. Go out there and give. Tip. I'm always going to show you guys my receipt because I want to inspire other people to do it. Tip 100%. Don't be fucking average. 10%, 15%. Come on, everybody does that. Tip 100%. 10, 300%. But just do it. Why not? I had no idea by doing this six, seven years ago and now in my life today, I understand why the abundance of finances, love, happiness, joy keeps coming into my life. Because every day I go out, I don't try to be a blessing. I am in somebody else's life. Every day. I'm a blessing in somebody's life. I'm telling you, if you get a chance to meet me, I will be a blessing and you, I mean, I'm a blessing in everybody. I do this on purpose because I got so much love and so much joy inside of me. I want to share it with the world. I want you to do the same thing. I want you to understand the law of reciprocity is real. 
that whatever you give out, you will receive 10 times over. And whatever you don't give, key word, whatever you don't give, whenever you miss that opportunity to not sow something in somebody else's life, you're going to feel it. It's going to be frustrating. You're going to be bitter. It's going to hurt. I want everybody here that's looking at this video. I want you to be rich. I want you to be wealthy. I want you to become a millionaire. I want this. But the process is complex, but it's simple. But the mo you know, the most important process of this whole thing, you know, just making this money, is you gotta work on you. And it's tough. Because you got some things in you that are damaging your finances. It's damaging it. You know, I know sometimes you get upset, oh man, why does it haven't happened for me? See, if you say why it hasn't happened for me, that tells me that you're not ready for it. See, I didn't have that type of communication with myself. I didn't tell myself, well, why is it not happening? Before I did. But the last two years of my life, I didn't have that conversation anymore. I lived like a millionaire, even though I wasn't. Even though I didn't have the million dollar product, even though I had a million dollar ideal, I was living like it in my mind, which means I never had disempowering language. I never said anything of lack. I never said, when is it gonna happen for me? It's still not working. How long is it gonna be? I never used those words two years before I made my first million. But the question is, can you do that? Can you continue to pour into other people's lives and be happy about it? Can you continue to show people love and be enthusiastic about it? Can you take criticism and conflict and hurt and pain and still be grateful and still love the person? Can you do that? See, guys, everything I talk about is sustainable wealth. Getting wealth and making a lot of money is not hard. Keeping it and having it grow, that's a challenge. Because for that to happen, you have to change, my friend. Everything. Every day I'm still changing. I'm not perfect at all. Every day I'm refining myself. Every day I'm getting and learning new distinctions about me, my attitudes, my bitterness, how I feel about certain people, how I feel about certain moments, how I define things that happen in my life consistently. And I'm grateful for that because it's allowing me to grow as a man. I want you to grow. If you want your money to grow, you must grow. If you want your relationships to grow, to be fulfilled, to feel better, to make a total 360 degree shift, you got to be better. Work on you. Remember, you can always go to WesleyVirgin.com where all my videos are. And those videos are more self-development, self-empowerment type of videos than anything. Because once you work on you, you will stop complaining. You'll stop being, feeling frustrated about meaningless things. You'll stop majoring on minor things. You look at the bigger picture. See, a person that already knows they're going to be a millionaire, and I knew this five, six years ago. I remember telling my parents every year, oh, this is my year. This is my year. This is my year because I knew it. And since I knew it, I didn't complain about it. And since I knew it, I didn't get frustrated when it wasn't happening. Because I knew it. See, when you know something, you do something. When you know something, you don't consider something not happening or working. The law of reciprocity. I want everybody, if you're watching this video replay on YouTube or my website at WesleyVirgin.com, I want you to sow a seed into someone's life. It can be a tip at a valet station. It can be a tip at a restaurant. Anything. You can see someone that you know needs your help because you can feel it because we're our energy and you sow something into their lives. And I want you to sow 100% over. Don't do the minimum because you're not a minimum individual. See, if you are consider yourself an extraordinary individual, you should tip extraordinary. You should deal with people in an extraordinary way. People should leave their conversation with you feeling empowered, feeling amazing. Because these are the people that make the money. 
Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. These guys, they were inspirations. They were businessmen. But when you're around them, you feel a certain way. You feel the energy. You got to become that. You got to become a very highly effective, a very extraordinary person to attract millions of dollars. I want you to tattoo that in your brain. And what I've learned by giving abundantly to people and their lives, I mean, I love making more money because when I make more money, I can give more money. I love it. I love it. I can get five, ten thousand here, twenty thousand here. It doesn't matter to me. If I feel it, I do it. Because I know it's coming back ten times over. Period. And when I'm telling you, even if you have 10, 100, 1,000, 200,000, 20,000 dollars in your bank account, sow the seed. And sow it consistently. Then guess what? The universe will sow and you will reap consistently the benefits and abundance that the universe and your God has for you. Hey, much love. I love you. Please share, like this video. Later.